Hello everybody, Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here, bringing to you another video, and this is, uh, we're going to do another tape video, so, um, this is on another Chevy Trucks demonstration tape, and this is on the 1995 CK pickup, which, what I heard about it, it's also known as the full-size Chevrolet pickup. So, um, before I start playing this tape, I have some, like, really bad news. Um, I filed, a, after filing a dispute on that... Let's watch video for OKKO OK on Sonic. It said that my dispute wasn't approved. And um I I appealed the claim and um it feels like if if they don't accept it then I'm gonna end up getting a copyright strike on my account for some reason and that kinda sucks ass. But anyway, um let's let's just try to get this CK pickup tape in, so let's just put it in. Thing is what I found out about this tape might be a bit shorter than the Tahoe one, I think. I think it's, uh, it's shorter than the, all the other tapes I have. So let's start off with side one on this tape. So, um, yeah. I'm just very excited to listen to this tape. I have to get this, this volume set up, so let's do it. Okay, side one of the Chevrolet CK pickup tape. Here we go. And also, I just hope that my account will be fine. I mean, I just hope I don't get a copyright strike. For, you know, that okay KO video. So, yeah. Let's begin. Congratulations on your choice of a full-size Chevrolet pickup. And welcome to the Chevrolet family. Your full-size truck has been designed from the inside out with your comfort, performance, and safety needs in mind. Over the next few minutes, we'll discuss some of the features and controls that make this truck such an exciting vehicle to own. For more detailed explanations, please see your owner's manual. The aerodynamic styling of this full-size pickup not only adds to its unique look, but also helps improve fuel economy. Extensive underbody and underhood rust and corrosion protection and a base coat, clear coat paint treatment will help keep your truck looking showroom new. The standard solar ray tinted glass reduces glare and helps keep the interior cool in sunlight. Your engine will provide exceptional performance. Both the gasoline and diesel engines will provide you with confident starting and smooth acceleration in any type of weather. Whether you have a 5-speed manual transmission with overdrive or the electronic 4-speed automatic transmission, you'll enjoy smooth, responsive shifting. Your truck is equipped with an anti-lock braking system, or ABS for short. This system improves your ability to maintain control of your truck under slippery road or severe braking conditions. ABS will not, however, always allow you to stop within the distance available. ABS cannot replace good judgment. The anti-lock brake system includes special diagnostic features, so don't be alarmed if you hear a noise when you start your truck and begin to drive away. It's only the ABS system testing itself. With an ABS system, you should not pump the brakes in an emergency situation. Just hold the brake pedal down and let the anti-lock brakes work for you. You will feel the brake pedal vibrate or buzz. Also, during an emergency stop, the ABS control unit under the hood will emit a groaning noise and the wheels may make a loud chirping noise. These are all signs that your ABS system has been activated and is working properly. We recommend that when you leave your truck, place the manual transmission in reverse or the automatic transmission in park. Then set the parking brake located to the left of the brake pedal. To disengage the parking brake, use the release at the lower left side of the instrument panel. As a special note, if you have the four-wheel drive system, never leave the transfer case in the neutral position when parked, since the vehicle could still roll even though the automatic transmission is in park or the manual transmission is in reverse. Section 4 in your owner's manual offers additional information on parking and leaving your vehicle. Under the hood, your truck has also been designed for your convenience. To open the hood, pull the release lever below the left-hand side of the instrument panel. Then go to the front of the vehicle and open the hood using the secondary release. 
you will see that routine maintenance is made convenient with well-marked and easily accessible locations under the hood. Items which should be checked regularly include the engine oil, automatic transmission fluid, brake fluid, coolant, power steering fluid, air filter, and windshield washer fluid. For more detailed information on checking these fluids and other self-maintenance procedures, read sections 6 and 7 in your owner's manual. The cargo box of your pickup has special notches on each side. You can lay 60-inch long 2x6s crossways for two-tier loading. The cargo box has been designed without exposed bolt heads to reduce the chance of corrosion and to ease cargo handling. Drain holes have also been included for quick and easy cleanups. The lower step-up bumper makes access to the box easy. The tailgate uses cables rather than rigid link arms for quieter operation and easier opening and closing. The tailgate can also be easily removed without the use of tools. Inside, your truck has three-point front lap and shoulder belts for all outboard passengers and lap belts for center passengers. Extended cab models with rear bench seats also feature three-point lap and shoulder belts. Your truck may be equipped with remote keyless entry. This feature allows you to unlock the doors from a control on your key ring as you approach your vehicle. It eliminates fumbling with your keys in a dark parking lot. Press the unlock button once to unlock the driver's door and twice to unlock both doors. When the unlock button is pressed, the interior dome lamps are turned on for 40 seconds or until the ignition switch is activated. A driver's side facial airbag is standard on trucks with a GVWR below 8,600 pounds. The airbag is located in the middle of the steering wheel and will inflate in moderate to severe frontal or near frontal crashes only. It is designed to supplement the protection of a properly adjusted safety belt, which you should wear at all times when traveling in your truck. The airbag will not inflate in rollovers, side impacts, or rear impacts. Upon activation, you may hear a very loud sound as the airbag inflates and deflates. This will all happen in about the time it takes you to blink an eye. The deflated bag will not obstruct your visibility. Chevy trucks offer a host of standard interior features to make driving comfortable and reduce fatigue. Extra acoustical insulation in the dash panel, doors, floor, and under the hood contribute to a quiet, relaxing ride. Look around the interior and you'll notice everything from the seats to the instrumentation has been designed with your comfort and convenience in mind. Your truck may be equipped with reclining seats that provide you with maximum comfort and support. To adjust the angle of your seat back, lift the lever on the outboard side of your seat near the floor, move the seat to the position you want, and release the lever. To move your manual front seat forward or back, pull the lever at the front outboard side of the cushion to the side, move the seat into position, and release the lever. The knob is located on the outboard side of the driver and passenger seats. If you have the deluxe power driver's seat, the controls are located on the left side of the seat base. The Silverado trim includes a standard power lumbar adjustment feature. A passenger side easy entry feature on extended cab models makes getting in and out of the rear seat easy. Just to press the release handle all the way forward, then slide the whole seat forward. Then return the seat back to its original position and move the seat rearward until it locks. In addition, a standard passenger side assist handle located on the headliner helps when getting in and out of your truck. Crew cab models have assist handles on both sides of the truck. Trucks with bucket seats include a center console. The console includes a flip-up writing surface and cassette CD storage bin. There's also a cup holder that pulls out for the backseat passengers to use. You will also find a storage drawer located in the lower rear portion of the console. A full-size spare tire is standard on all full-size Chevy pickups. The tire is mounted under the bed. The jacking equipment is neatly stored along the right side of the back wall. Your carpet, cloth seats, and door panels have been treated with Scotchgard fabric protector. Scotchgard makes food spills and other messes a lot easier to clean up and helps keep your interior looking new. 
If you have power windows, the controls are located on the doors with the master controls on the driver's door. The headlights and tail lights are operated by the switch knob on the left of the instrument cluster. High and low beams of the headlights are controlled by pulling the turn signal lever toward the steering wheel until it clicks, then releasing it. The wheel next to the light knob controls the intensity of the instrument panel lights when the parking lights or headlights are illuminated. By turning the dial up or down, you can vary the brightness of your backlit instruments. Refer to section 2 in the owner's manual for additional information on lighting features and controls. The turn signal lever also controls the operation of the windshield wipers and washers. The delay wiper allows you to vary the time interval between wiper sweeps for as long as 16 seconds. Once the wipers are on, turning the delay control band controls the amount of wiper delay. The closer the wiper control band is to the low position, the more often the wipers will move. The low and high positions provide continuous wiper action. Pushing the paddle on the turn signal lever engages the windshield washers. For continual washing, you must push and hold the paddle down. When you release the paddle, the washers will stop. For a single wiping cycle, turn the wiper band toward you to mist, then release. Your Chevy truck's instrument panel has easy to read gauges with soft backlighting so your eyes won't get tired during long drives. At the center of your instrument cluster are an easy to read speedometer and tachometer. Located around the speedometer and tachometer are several smaller gauges and warning lights. The engine temperature gauge lets you monitor engine temperature. If your engine temperature is too high, the gauge pointer will move into the red area. There are also gauges which let you know if there's a problem with your charging system or engine oil pressure. The warning zone on these gauges is also marked in red. Your fuel gauge lets you know the relative amount of fuel in your tank. Remember, the engine must be running for the readings to be accurate. Other warning and reminder lights include a service engine soon light, a seatbelt reminder, a brake light, an anti-lock brake light, and a supplemental restraint system light. Most of these lights come on momentarily when you start your truck to let you know they're working and are not cause for concern. If one comes on and stays on while you're driving, consult your owner's manual for more information or see your dealer as soon as possible. If your truck is equipped with a diesel engine, be sure to listen to part two of this program for information regarding its operation. Just to let you know, they say part two instead of side two. Second tape to have it like this. Your truck is equipped with an onboard computer, which monitors the operation of your emission control system. This system is called Onboard Diagnostics, or OBD. OBD is a sophisticated diagnostic system recently adopted by the Environmental Protection Agency as a nationwide standard to ensure a cleaner environment. For your convenience and accessibility, the fuse panel is located on the end of the instrument panel on the driver's side. Refer to section 2 in the owner's manual for additional information on lighting features and controls. Fuse locations are illustrated in section 6. Your climate controls help you maintain a comfortable temperature inside your truck. The round knob on the left sets the fan speed. The round knob on the right lets you choose which vents the air from the fan will come from. The line drawing above each position helps you decide which vent mode to use. The center knob controls the temperature of the air from the vents. Move the knob clockwise into the red and you'll get warmer temperatures. Counterclockwise into the blue delivers cooler air. If you have air conditioning, you can turn on the compressor by pressing the AC button between the left and middle knobs. With this button on and the temperature control knob in the blue area, Cooled air will come out of the vents in any mode. When you choose to frost or maximum, the air conditioning compressor will come on automatically. This will dehumidify the interior and defog the windows. The RECIR recirculate button located between the middle and right knobs allows the air inside your vehicle to be recirculated. This setting helps to maximize your air conditioner's performance. 
For more information about your heating and air conditioning controls, see section 3 in your owner's manual. If you have a rear window defogger, it's controlled by the button next to the fan control knob. The defogger has a built-in timer which turns off the defogger after 10 minutes. If the window isn't clear after 10 minutes, press the button again and the defogger will come on for another 5 minutes. Your glove box contains a leatherette portfolio with your owner's manual and vehicle and tire warranty information. To fully enjoy and preserve the investment in your new truck, please read all of the information supplied in your portfolio. Included in your owner's manual is a maintenance schedule and information about Chevrolet Geo Roadside Assistance, which gives you access to roadside help 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Calling 1-800-CHEV-USA connects you with a roadside assistance center where highly trained advisors will help solve your problem. If your problem cannot be resolved over the telephone, a roadside advisor can coordinate a variety of quality services through Chevrolet's dealer network and their preferred service providers. Available services include towing, key cutting and car rental among others. We would like to remind you that on part two of this program, you'll find additional information and operational tips about the special options you may have purchased to customize your new truck. It also includes information on the use of child restraint devices. <laughs> I have so many questions. Why did why are they actually saying part two instead of side two? This is a tape. This is starting to act like the S series pickup all over again, guys. <laughs> okay. Well, that'll do. I mean, um, yeah, that that's side one for you. I mean, it's gonna take a, like a little long for the side to finish up because it's like about fifty seconds. But anyway, uh, let's just see how the tape's doing. I'm shining the flashlight on it. Yeah, it probably might be it. But anyway, um. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, um, that's it for side one of this uh, 1995 Chevrolet CK pickup, also known as full-size Chevrolet pickup audio cassette. Yeah, that's side one for you. So, yeah, side two will be in the next video. So, um, yeah. And let's also hope that I do not get a copyright strike for, you know, that OKKO OK video I made. So, yeah. Anyway, that'll be it. Stay tuned next time for side two. So, yeah. I will put it in just in case. Anyway, that'll be it, viewers. This is Quentin Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Have a great time.